Sorry. I'm working out for four hours of sleep in my bed. <clears throat> hey. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Whatever. Uh, it's Kendo here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home skillet biscuit? And happy Saturday. If you don't know what Saturday is, well, it's a day of the week that comes after Friday and before Sunday. It's generally when I do this thing on my channel called Bad Movies and a Beat, the series on my channel where I talk about bad movies while putting my makeup on. And uh, I gotta say, that Kenny bitch pretty funny. <laughs> Quite the witty and smart sense of humor. No way she's single. Just a typical multifaceted, multidimensional, multi-talented Capricorn, excellent at every goddamn thing she touches. And if I see Van Helsing, I swear to the Lord, I will slay him. <laughs> On Twitter, because that's where y'all hate me most, someone sent me a tweet that said something along the lines of, hey, have you seen that movie with Jay Park, Jay Boog, and Lil Fizz from B2K in it? That's when we meet Butthole mouth girl, Samantha. Oh, I finally figured it out. He looks like a great value sprouse. It must be nice to have money and not worry about how your lights are staying on or how your kids are getting fed. But don't be too cocky, bitch. Detective Fox loves work and alcohol. After going to AA, his sponsor, Chip, becomes the main suspect in his investigation of a missing child. Fox also starts to believe that people are disappearing up Chip's butt. I'm a simple woman. I'm easily intrigued. Again, write that novel! Write that screenplay! The world is your oyster! He's a sadist, like he enjoys inflicting pain, particularly on women that look like Anna, and that's because Anna looks like his mother. What in the Freudian fuckery? What in the Oedipussy bush? And here comes Jackson in Atlanta because quote, she wasn't answering her phone. He flew in. This took a flight to a whole ass different state because she didn't answer her phone one day. I can be needy, but not that damn needy. You a serial killer, baby. On paper, all the things that I, as a heterosexual woman, am supposed to find attractive, according to like Western society and Western definitions of attractiveness for men. But to such an almost alien degree that it's unattractive to me. The fluorescent tan, the, the like weirdly bright teeth. It could also admittedly be because I watch a lot of too much <laughs> true crime. <laughs> and there's just something about this guy that reads, he'd make me into jerky. You know what I mean? I'm happy you took your wrath out on me as opposed to someone else. Or he can just stop being a dick to everybody. That may also be an option. Samantha goes to a restaurant. The waitress sees, <laughs> Sees her, <laughs> sees the butthole mouth. Um, she's like, are you gonna eat? <laughs> like, get, like, <laughs> she's like, yeah. And so she orders soup. Watching two disinterested, unseasoned saltine crackers just rubbing against each other until the salt falls off. Just dry. The stiff, unlubricated jolting of bodies as like disjointedly decent music plays in the background. Why can't you treat me like any stranger on the street? Because I am not one of your fans. That there was a time when Mary couldn't even get one publisher to read her work and now gets to sit back and rake in residuals without a single thought to how she got there or who put her there. I am right, aren't I? You're an employee. 
You work for me. The only reason you're living in cup of noodles right now is because my books are selling the f I simply could not go and let myself watch this movie and not get paid from it. Run me a check. Like I feel like someone owes me money. I don't know if it's y'all. I don't know if it's me. What was it? Surveillance and invasion of privacy come with the territory. Well, I wasn't f***ing you when those pictures were taken. I'm just sitting here trying to process that you're in love with me. Or, <laughs> or, or maybe he is actually a serial killer. He comes in like, oh, you harlot. You know, I don't do that freak. And I'm like, doggy, this where you draw the line? He was like, I just want standardized, routinized, missionary sex. And if we go anywhere away from that, it's just not of God. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Shirtless presumably gay man named Tink. I don't know if this is homophobia, but it feels like homophobia. <laughs> you know what I mean? Besame, besame mucho. Como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Despite her jeopardizing Molly's job, Molly goes to cheer her up and they go to a club together and go to do what <laughs> her definition of dancing is. Fifty Shades of Grey was originally a Twilight fan fiction turned New York Times best-selling novel, turned shitty softcore porno for 40 plus year old wine moms who have always felt in many ways socially restricted for wanting something as unbecoming as sex, so they indulge in theoretical gentrified bondage play. A tale as old as time. His uh, second wife, uh, well, his new wife. <laughs> like he doesn't have two of them, you know. This isn't Utah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, so. <laughs> now, I know you're asking this question. Kendall, is she gonna, <laughs> is she gonna poop out of her, out of her butthole mouth? And the answer is yes and no. <laughs> But I'm curious, what were you feeling? Like, what thoughts were running through your head? I'm joking. I have no interest in uh, hearing whatever excuses Mr. Lee has. <laughs> Not that he would give me a meritless skamdugi on the internet. The satisfaction. What's so Five on the play, bitch. Flat. What's wrong with me? Is there? Dead mom used to go, we needed a dead mom. You can't have a teen protagonist without a dead parent because like, how do you become the main character of the show until you have at least one deceased parent? <laughs> I've gotten to the point I can make jokes, that's good. How do you feel? You can't get a text back. <laughs> and she got married with a butthole on her face. Baby shoe girl, living in a rainbow world. And she needs to choose one side. <laughs> Something, something, then it prove it, then it, then it let it go. My issue is that, oh my God, the sex is so bad. It's so bad. I mean, not that I know. I don't even know what sex is. The only kneeling I'm doing is for the Lord. <laughs> Yasmin is supposed to be old enough to have two grown children. And this woman is what, maybe in her early 30s? She's supposed to have a baby at 12? Like I'm confused, was she born pregnant <laughs> with twins? Like a turducken? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna heavily consider whether or not to edit that out. Like this is the face of a grown ass man. That's the face of a man who's giving me like legal advice. This is the face of a man who's telling me about real estate. Okay, that's the son from Hereditary, Alex Wolf. So he's a good actor. However, it's also directed and written by M. Night Shyamalan. So it's a toss up. We don't know, we don't know how this is gonna go. This could either be amazing or the worst thing I've ever seen. And somehow this movie is both. Don't you curse at me, you little sh Wait, I have the script book. Don't you swear at me, you little sh you don't ever raise your voice at me. I am your mother. I've given everything to you. All I ever do is worry and slave and defend you. And all I get back is that 
face on your face when now your sister's dead if you could have just said i'm sorry that hit too close home <laughs> but you can't take responsibility for anything so now i can't accept and i can't forget because nobody admits what they've done and seen <laughs> hey what's up handsome I'm sorry. Then I guess I'm just a petty, insecure woman then because that would get on my nerves. If I saw a straight dude friend of mine and I wanted to compliment them on how they look today, I'd be like, look at you. You look nice. You all dressed up. Who you doing for? For yourself and for others. I love that. You look good. Nice lineup. You look like you showered. But I don't go up to him and be like, hi, handsome. Anyway, Y'all can call me petty and jealous all you want. I never said I was above it all. Y'all did. I'm quite below it, actually. I'm not the bigger person. Tiny. Always have faith in who you are. Believing in myself ain't a fighting move. The f I just thought of like somebody, like two people going into a fight, like in a street brawl. I have the power of believing in myself on my side. Uh, he also drops dead. Stupid. Slowly. It was taking a lot of time. And he was very loud. Oh, get the bird. I'm like, can you die quieter? All I know is when I get up in that pussy, three to the left and two to the right. You feel me? I don't know. They just look like Chris Hansen is going to pop out from behind a tree and be like, what's going on here? We have your text log. Do you enjoy those weak old cookies? <laughs> Camera pans. And my got a turkey in the room. She got spanked. And then was like, this man is a monster. <laughs> Girl, lighten up, get adventurous. Not that I know, I've never. <laughs> the only up and down I do is in shouts of praise, amen. <laughs> All of the order reconvene the day before the apocalypse to say, yo, it's a coming and some of y'all gonna die. We're gonna do no preparatory work at all. We're not gonna brief y'all, nothing. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Spend this day however you wish cause many of you gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> hairy, I didn't even mention that. It's a gaping hairy asshole on her face, dog. <laughs> I'm rooting at 25 years Shit. <laughs> 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 Brooding a 25 year old teenager. Gives her a little buzz buzz zap zap if you get my drift. And for some reason, <laughs> and for some reason that is alarming to her. And you know what's funny about that? Is that this was the first scene of any of these, first and only scene of any of these movies that was, I could kind of get the hotness from it. I was like, okay, that's kind of okay. And she has a breakdown right after. I'm like, what's wrong with me, dude? She's like, that's not love. <laughs> what sick game are you playing at? This movie is very funny, but not in like a ha ha. It's more like if somebody cracks a joke at a funeral, like you laugh, but you feel bad about it. Attack of the killer tomatoes. They'll beat you, bash you, squish you, mash you, chew you up for brunch and finish you off for dinner or lunch. Tell me why, after everything you've said to me, should I join you? Because Emerson is an ass. God. But at least now he knows it. Shut up! I prefer you actually don't finish my video. I would prefer you watch it completely blind and then come back to this video. <laughs> Remember to return to my video. They've already made their money. They've made their shitty movie. I need to make mine. You should have stayed silent, bitch, and shoots her. Say silent about what? Clue me in, nigga. I'm a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of this just being stupid, wouldn't farting on an open flame <laughs> be an issue? Tyre is, um, he's on a roll. <laughs> and, uh, Somebody's gotta f these girls. No, no, they, they, they could have lived literally their whole entire lives. Could have been left unfucked by you or anyone for that matter. They and again, Jason, actual Jason. I can't help but imagine this actual person in real life named Jason Lee who's sitting there thinking, 
this the line right here while writing his badass diet negro alter ego the thing that this movie gave us because it didn't give us much it gave us looks it gave us luck after luck after luck after luck for days oh enter goku That's all, folks. I'll just. It's more so her just being toothlessly defiant, i.e., a brat. I don't know why I know correct terminology, because the only bondage that has ever been in my life has been cast aside, broken off by the Lord Jesus. <laughs> the shackles of sin, Lord Jesus, that have been, that have been cast aside when he died on that cross. Amen. Well, I think I just sit there and I'm like one swift, let me beat your ass and this would all be over. I feel like violence occasionally is the answer. I don't, <laughs> one quick, it would be good, but alas, y'all gonna make me watch ads too. What do I pay for Prime for? Purchase options. I just, how much do I hate myself? A little bit. Enough. <laughs> I have a bad temper. Oh, no. And I can be destructive. It would be inadvisable for me to lose my temper on someone like you. Or you could get some help. Therapy does wonders. Really, I'm so tired. I feel like sex is one of those things that people put in movies for no reason. Well, not all the time, but most of the time. I'd say 80 to 90, even probably more than that percent of the time, it did not need to be there. This is a movie that depends so heavily on it, so I'm going to roast it. It's so bad. It left a lot to be desired, especially because he was talking all this shit and he just standing there. Like, like the way he was talking about it, I thought I should be scared. I thought I should be concerned. Is she gonna, is she gonna be all right? <laughs> She'll be fine. There's a spider in here. Oh my God. Okay, wait. <laughs> Shall we? Dad. They eventually get around to interviewing Stella, his first love. And I love how I'm left to assume that the reason why he's living in this Splenda n fantasy of his is because his first love was half black. Hey, why aren't you called Anastasia Gray on all of your emails? I still got beach sand in my ass crack from the honeymoon and you're coming in here complaining because I haven't changed my name yet. Ah! I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it. So the less qualified people guard the gates, but the people whose job it is to kill the job to do that job. Sorry, whose job it is to kill the stronger beings don't know where they're even coming from. She looks young and he's giving like 40 year old down on his luck Chance Crawford after a DUI. What the f do girl hormones have to do with wanting to beat a bitch ass for legitimate reasons? But this means war, people. <sighs> Daddy. Papa. <laughs> he just. <sighs> Go get me a pizza, boy. Shut your dumb ass up. Damn you, man. Musseth you fucketh with a mine bag. This is supposed to be a stereotype also of black people that they're constantly calling people racist and as if that's an issue as opposed to people constantly being fucking racist. And he was like, oh, you live in a bucket. I like to control and fuck so hard and deep that you'll scream and be sore the next day. Like this makes me want to just sew my shit up. I have no need for it. Put my pussy in storage. Take it on a U-Haul. Gia reminds him so much of his mom. Sounds like it a pussy. Some Freudian bush. There was a being, an alien named Piccolo. I do remember there being a character named that, but I personally do not recall him looking like Mountain Dew Handsome Squidward. The guy's like, everybody show me a tits. They're like, what? And he's like, I run a topless show. Show me your time. Thank you for letting me live here. <laughs> Sophisticatedly campy and cathartic melodrama. Yeah, I'm being that bitch today. Post humor humorously, posthumously. How do you say that word after death? Posthumously. The adjective posthumous is applied to Posthumously. Is there a way to feel closer to her dead mom that is dead and deceased and passed on? Elle doesn't really know how to do anything for herself. All she's thinking about is not disappointing people. She's a people pleaser. And ironically, nobody likes a people pleaser. Make sure that you're there for yourself so that you can be there for others. And oh my God, this man looks like a serial killer. Are they really trying to convince me? <laughs> 
<laughs> that this is just like, but a somber, stoic, beautiful man, not at all threatening. Just a somber ballad of reunited loves. Where is the, the dun, 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 orchestra? My dude looks like the Night Stalker. <laughs> He's giving me all types of Richard Ramirez vibe. Crying, doodling. Uh, snotting all the bodily fluids, throwing up. It was a mess. You're playing with the hottest fire there is, cupcake. My God. Fucking fit! She comes in with my fit and a half. That was cute as Anybody want to link me? <laughs> Give me this outfit, by the way, plus size um, friendly. Thank you. Wow, you're a feisty firecracker i'm sure your boyfriend's so happy with you and she's like my boyfriend's dead <laughs> one is a monkey in a suit the other is a clown and the last is a black child playing the drums i don't know if it's racist but it don't feel right lo and behold that's not the only way you can tell she's evil she also now watches her sugar consumption and wears studded boots. I wonder how much sugar is in this. You did not just ask that. No, you ate like two funnel cakes, a hot dog, and a bag of kettle corn on our first date. You didn't wear these crazy studded boots. What happened to that girl I met in shop class? <laughs> what if she's like diabetic? <laughs> Remember, people went into a state called Super Saiyan. There was the Kamehameha, which was a move. I remember the hair. And I remember them taking an obscenely long amount of time to fight. They would take like three weeks worth of episodes of them just mentally dick sucking each other. Oh my God, he's so strong. I've never seen no muscles like this before. And then they would fight. <laughs> Decided to raw dog <laughs> a hair dye job. <laughs> Four days out and I'm still not completely not Smurf colored. Stay tuned for when I start my journey as being the baddest Smurfette. I just, I don't know. I've never been in love. So I, I don't want to speak on like what I would and wouldn't do. I'm gonna just say I would be fucking surprised if I did this. And if I did, somebody sit me down. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. Instead, it's evolving into something that's a lot more healthy and less codependent than how we've been orchestrating our relationship thus far. Honestly, this is just unsustainable. I was supposed to live up under your ball sack when you get married and have kids. A scene with him dancing with a bunch of old ladies, <laughs> which I see nothing wrong with that. You can be a bad bitch and be in your 60s. From birth to death, young one, you a bad bitch. <laughs> Essentially, if they don't make enough money for them damn trees, mental illness will be reborn and unleashed onto the world to wreak havoc once more, like the return of the mummy. Uh, Zach and Crystal in a robe. That's a nice ass robe, I want one. Cause the pussy is therapy. And again, more incredibly literal word choices. He's like, my past is dark, it is ugly, and it is twisted. <laughs> my past is dark. And it's ugly and it's twisted. She gets suckered into the belief that her pussy is an antidepressant. Because the pussy is therapy. Last time I said pussy is therapy, people really thought that it was a song. <laughs> nope, it's just going into the list of stupid jingles I sing throughout this series. He's just a dude, but he's 30 and he's paying 17. He's just a guy. All right, but he's playing a senior in high school. But it's just a dude. But what can you do when you're just a dude playing a teenager? Run me my royalties, baby. Tina! Bring me the ad. And a, let me check my notes. <clears throat> A white woman with box braid. Sister Lock Sally over here. Crochet braid Carrie. Micro braids Mary comes up to her. Box braid Becca. <laughs> Knotless Nancy. Senegalese twist Sally. <laughs> Are my eyes watering? I'm, I'm I'm on the brink of tears. I'm PMSing, but not a nigga in sight. Actually, no nigga actually says nigga in this movie, which is hilarious considering again, the niggas were there largely to legitimize the nigga tree. But uh, <laughs> anywho. Kill everyone now. Condone first degree murder. Advocate cannibalism. Eat shit. Filth is my politics. Filth is my life. I'd have to kill him. Again, I've said this. 
<laughs> like he would have to die. Me personally, I would have never married him because if you cheat on me, that's enough to tell me that you don't make good decisions in any way. Like there's an impulsivity. Even if you didn't want to cheat on me, you just said, hey, it was there and I took it and you know, I just slipped and fell in a pussy. Kendall, would you like to live tweet for a bag? Yes, I did that. And you would do it too for a check. I was an employee. You expect me to ignore my fans? They are life and death to me, baby. Nope. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. Not my black ass. It is too many white people dressed in white, playing flutes, and skipping merrily. I am not, I am no interest. I went twice, both times, in an almost completely empty theater, laughing my ass off so bad that I couldn't even, like I couldn't breathe at certain points and I felt like a psychopath because nobody else found it funny but me. Yeah, get me a beer, bitch. My nigga looks like an afterthought. Ooh. Okay, I get pregnant and you go cheat on me with that old bag of bones booty ass bitch who was also your abuser. Why I carrieth your giant head child. She was in that group that Normani escaped from and she did that one song that went ooh na 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 and it was very annoying and I got very sick of it. Just shaking ass for the Requiem. Over, what is math? Um, 9.2, 9.8, 8.8. Side note, I don't know why, but I have um, shiny replay stuck in my head. And I don't know why, it came out of nowhere. Nuna night MVP. Did I do it right? He's giving me like severe spelling out boobs on a calculator energy. It's like, sir, you're in your thirties. Get like, what is happening here? And I'm sitting here like, is she really gonna throw the cat for a man who who spits game and nursery rhymes? Do do do. Hello, bisexuals. Hey, bisexuals. No, I didn't push her. She fell. I did not push her. I did not push her. Their uncle is Albert Einstein. You're gonna be very confused through this video. Just, just follow me. You're just gonna have to trust the, you're gonna have to just trust the journey, man. Is this crying? <laughs> Dad gives her a unicorn head to put over her face when she goes out and he like takes pictures of her. He's like, oh my God, you look so good. I call poppycock hullabaloo. Ain't no way in hell that I would see this man and be like, I mean, who he doesn't give me like chop my body up and put me in separate freezer bags and eat me throughout the year tease at all. It tells us a story of, um, a maiden who performed a love ritual by um, putting her period blood in his drink and putting her pubes in his food. Unfortunately, uh, that's not just like a fun thing to know that will come up later, so. They made like three more. If you think I'm going to watch any more of these, you have me more bent than origami. I had a crush on the redhead but particularly when he turned into a white haired fox because I was really into white hair anime dudes, particularly when they were a little bit sadistic. Shishomaru, Sephiroth. <laughs> Especially the newest renditions of him, he could just stab me through the back anytime. I feel like I've made this joke before, but it's a sentiment I carry with me. Anyway, someone tried to read me on Twitter. They were like, Kendall, aren't you lactose intolerant? Aren't you supposed to be drinking water and minding your own damn business? I know that my intestines don't like me. I didn't ask for your input. Hey, do your job. <laughs> don't tell me who I am. I'm gonna need you to hit a blunt. I'm gonna need you to take up yoga. Center yourself, mind your veins. You about to have an aneurysm. He over here about to pop a blood vessel, screaming passionately at, to all accounts, a still dripping wet naked man. The more I think about that, the more creepy that is. What the f are you gonna do with my face? Like six pictures of my face and we're not together again. Weirdo. 
Oh, goat-eyed bitch. And I just had the exceeding realization of just how ashy my hands truly are. Like I stretched out my fingers and you could hear paper crackling. How long are you gonna pretend you don't know me, Gio? Ah, what the fuck? Mrs. Williams, I understand your husband is missing. Yes, Do you he think is. he's dead? Well, I, I Will you miss him? Well, Will you marry well, again? Ah, what if he's laying in a ditch somewhere? Like, okay, that's well, funny. Well, okay, that's funny. Well, she... <laughs> doesn't take it well. <laughs> Now let me just say, this could be my Scorpio rising popping out. Hello. Also my Aries moon. Even if even if I wasn't even planning on do it, I would do it now. I would I would just give him the double fist clock clock. I would just go off. The drooliness, slobberiest, super soaker motor boat, whopper wop 10,000. Just cause I'm petty. I'm very good at resisting temptation. <laughs> they tried to put too much together when racism is all you need. <laughs> Get your family the gift that everybody loves. Racism. Shy, alluring, relatable, approachable. Boring. There is a certain level of bitchy that one must hold to be the head mean girl in a movie. And they go underground, really underground, like lava and shit. And they dressed in full length pants, not even a capri or something. AJ ain't nothing but a number, but a jail cell ain't nothing but a room with bars. You feel me? It's very creepy. They really said you ain't got nothing to do. What if I had to shave my ass or something? What if I was just <laughs> taking the whole day to myself? Dear Evan Hansen, stop. Things have been rough in the bunker, stop. Roosevelt says that the boys are coming home soon, stop. Y'all go to the same school. Like why are y'all acting like you're prison pen pals? If you had a gun to my head and said, Kendall, tell us what this movie is about, I genuinely would be one two people have sex with a live chicken between them apparently in real life a chicken died in the course of making this scene but it's all cool because quote they ate him afterwards two there's a scene that i like to refer to as the prolapse jukebox and i'll leave you to figure out what that is three bab gives oral sex on screen to her own son four there is a scene in which babs and her family cannibalize the police which on the list of other things that's the least controversial thing that she's done and then five which is probably what most people know this film for there is a finale in which a dog you know do what they do on walks and Babs gets a lot of shit for that scene. If it's a man in the one, be that one. And I'm like, yes, okay, bitch, we get it. You will be that one. <laughs> you gotta know my name. You gotta know my name. You gotta know my name. Madison Ray's new movie. She's the lead in a gender bent remake of the 1990s popular rom com by the name of She's All That, aptly called He's All That. But the moment I was flooded with these requests, my first response was Who? If it's a man, you're two one. I'm gonna be that one. I'm looking rough. <laughs> I've never been one that's good at flexibility, you know, like, oh, inconvenience. Yeah, let me like change my whole plan. Let me, let me adapt. I'm more of a f and I'll just try again tomorrow type bitch. He's like, I have something to tell you and I don't believe you will like me anymore after you learn this. And I was thinking he was gonna say like, oh, I cheated on somebody before. Gabriel, please. I'm a murderer. I took an innocent life. You win this time, movie. He keeps having sex with his pants on and that bothers the shit out of me. And it's not just that the pants are still on, like an inch below his ass crack. So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to envision where is it? Do you still have them button? Do you just have, do you have your dick going over the top of the jeep? Or are they going through the hole? If that's the case, just take the pants off and he does it almost every scene and I can't help but sit there and think what in the chafing this must be incredibly uncomfortable for both parties again if I were an alien watching this I'd be befuddled he's wearing like jeans it's just denim and a belt buckle rubbing against the kitty and they smash against the wall and on the floor while he's wearing jeans 
Why do movies make men wear jeans during sex? That's so weird. I know he was fine 20 years ago. Did he fine now? He got a son. Does he look old enough to have like a, oh, I don't think he old enough to have like a 25 year old son. Well, if your old lady don't treat you, if your old lady don't treat you right, <laughs> I won't either. <laughs> I don't wanna live forever. And I have a running away. I just wanna keep calling your name. I love it. Never rise above. When they go low, go even lower. Go to hell. Now, I know what you're thinking if you're familiar with my series. You're like, oh, she's about to sing the brooding hot 25 year old teenager theme song. But here's the thing though. <laughs> I can't even do that in this context because it's not even like brooding, it's just a guy. It's like a dude that works in IT. He just works at a bank or is like the guy that sold me my modem. We need to have more Asian representation. We gotta put Scarlett Johansson in something, you know? <laughs> I stole that joke. Minsuki actually, love Minsuki. I hope you aren't rapping. I hope enough years have passed that you've given that up. I hope you work at a Walgreens. I hope you got a paper route. I hope you got something. I hope you're doing anything other than making music. Like you you decline money for you, bitch. Like put your pride aside, they handing out checks. Her and Tyler I'm sure will end up together. I have no idea what his name is, but he just looks like a Tyler to me. I made the right decision walking away. Doesn't mean I don't regret it. You'll hurt me. I'll worship you. <laughs> you remember how it was, my cock inside you. <laughs> it's ornery and irritated all the time for no real reason. And I'm like, do you need a hug? There's a scene where like a bunch of milkmaids are just rocking out. <laughs> that was so funny to me. What is it that he said? Do you feel held by him? Does he feel like home to you? Game. Whenever I do red eyeshadow, I always think of Sweeney Todd. And in my head, all I can hear right now is, poor thing, better you should think that she died. Yes, I lied, cause I love you. I'd be twice the wife she was. I love you. How could that thing have cared for you like me? Mrs. Lovett, what a charming notion. I recently got a boom mic. And I also, I always see it in my like peripheral vision. It's just staring at me, just this phallic object, just staring me right in the eye. Don't even breathe the same air. Girl, give me a script. Let me do it. Cause I just, you can't, you can't do it right. Do it yourself. Uh, played of course by Addison. <laughs> Did I call her Addison Kane before? The Omegaverse author? <laughs> Don't ask why I know that. And I don't know why he knows all this tea, but this is the type of nosy nigga I love. I love an oversharer. I mean, I'm a listen, but I will wonder, why do you know this? <laughs> I don't know. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's just not funny. I want to die. <laughs> Pause. Sorry, that was a lot. The cat calls upon its pussy posse. <laughs> I'm so funny, Jesus. Hey, will somebody please pass the ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was funny. Like it blinks, but it doesn't have eyelids. Oh my god, why the f is moving like that? Oh my god. She ain't angry enough for me. I would have to kill him. He'd just have to. He'd be dead. He'd just have to be dead. Because every day I would walk around seeing this mother and think he lost half of my money. I mean, granted, he might be making some money as well. He might be also successful, but that's my money. <laughs> that's my money that I made selling thriller smut to a bunch of like wine moms across America. That's my money. He would have to die. And that's just how it is. I'm sorry. I need to get the feeling back in my legs. And it's like, we just saw you. 
we saw the sex. It wasn't like they panned off that, you know, like they do in like Lifetime movies. Like we saw it. That's taking your breath away. That's taking your movement. You're walking. Okay. <laughs> Bitch, don't do anything for a man. Don't change jobs. Don't change locations. Don't change any plans for a man. My God, don't change schools. Transfer $24,000 to Miss Steele's account. The woke side of me understands how, how much of an issue this would be, but again, we sleep eight hours a day. So a second part of me is over here like, who wouldn't feel powerful? Hey, daddy. These are touching my eyebrow. You want me to help you feel like a man? My bank account is- Watch out her pussy. I told y'all I had an irrational fear. Like I'm afraid of having like a stingray zap me in the pussy. Apparently the prospects are closer than I than I realized. Ungodly mixture of person and rodent. If that weren't bad enough, they're also a pretty clear allegory to not, to Nazi troops. No, no, I'm not kidding. That's not a joke. Stuff like this really screwed up my perception of what a 17 year old looks like because I remember <laughs> going into high school and being like, yes, I'm gonna be getting all these boys, I'm gonna get all these daddies. And then you realize you're 14 and you're going into high school with other 14 year olds who look 14. <laughs> and I was so deeply disappointed. I was like, where are the like Ian Summer holders, even though he was like 32. Camilla, um, corporal punishment. <laughs> Camilla chamomile tea, Camilla cantaloupe. I need people to understand my motivations. This is my ninth film. I've been in the business for 20 years. Don't tell nobody that. Don't admit that. I would tell people this is my first endeavor. I've never done this before. You know, mistakes were made and I'll do better next time. I would never admit. <laughs> This is not my first film, but okay. Cook Michael's body and serve it to Albert. We're getting inventive. I love that. We love, we love arts and crafts. We love recycling. <laughs> I don't cry. <laughs> and so, Follow me, I'm about to get angry. You're telling me that she was best friends with his sister. Close enough that her father would visit their house. <laughs> she knew him and her father knew him as Gabriel. She, they knew him by name. They have a moment in which they quote, fall in love and he doesn't remember her. <laughs> also, I would like to say everyone I've ever met from the kink community have been lovely. Except the guy that offered me BDSM on the street of, I never told that story, did I? It's a long story, don't feel like doing it. It's not that long, I just don't feel like telling the story. Anyway. Suck me or f me. This man is a menace. Some simulation, baby. A little conversation, baby. Tell me this whole story would've been over if he just would've got a butt plug. Adam Mail makes, from what I hear, I don't know, <laughs> makes plenty of things. Literally, that's all you needed. Just would've got a prostate massager and none of this would've been. It's no big deal. I deserve severance. I don't get paid enough for this shit. But I get paid something, so let me do <laughs> Gabriel says to the virgin that her getting on top of him is the better way to go. No, no, it's not. It's not at all. Absolutely not. <laughs> don't do that. If, if I have sex for the first time, I, well, I wouldn't recommend it. That's a lot of gravity. You need to treasure her for the treasure that she is. And it's like, that's his student. <laughs> Like, I don't have to do anything but teach her stuff. Like, like in, in, in the classroom, like nothing outside of that. There's no double entendre. So disgusting. My father found that Prometheum orb 20 years ago and you stole it from me last Girl, this ain't no memoir. Are you gonna shoot him or not? I don't know what you're talking about. This is a dragon ball. So shoot you or star ball. I promise my grandfather I'll keep it safe. So I'm not letting it. Why, why are you allowed to talk so much? Anyway. Not Jax. It has to be Christ. Don't ask me to turn you into one of them. I'm sorry, I, I want to say more, but there's so much about this scene that really speaks for itself. You wanted me to behave like every other abusive asshole that has knocked you around. Well, I'm not an abusive asshole. I mean, uh, this is up, 
this is up for debate. How are we gonna come to a topless beach and then you're like, don't swing your tatas to Timbuktu. I've been naked in semi-public twice in my life. Both were in Korean gym bongs. And you know, you think it'd be weird and then you realize you're just naked. Oh, can I just talk for a second about how much I hate beer pong? I remember I played beer pong one time. I didn't even know how to actually play it. And then I saw that ball hit that dirty ass, wet ass, grummy ass floor. Uh, are we not gonna wash the ball? And nobody ever washed the ball. And these mother are afraid to get vaccinated. Completely absolved itself from making sense. Because here I am, I'm a person that likes to nitpick things that don't make sense. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I can't even do that because they say, look, bitch, we're not gonna hold ourselves to the standard of making sense in film. Sexy daddy goes up, that's not his name, David. David the sexy daddy, daddy sexy David, David, mm. goes up to Ivy. <laughs> we need to make them broken so that we can fix them with this pussy. And the moment I noticed that she was noticing that, I was like, oh, well, she gonna die. She's a black friend that notices something's wrong. Oh, hell no, she not gonna make it. The chanting go crazy though. Uh, someone needs to sample that and make a song that I'm very, very conflicted about. Dante met her when she was under 18. It wasn't possible for them to be together unless he's a pedophile. Are you telling us that Dante is a pedophile, professor? Well, Detroit style rap is not good. Like I don't, a very Detroit style rap sounds like you're purposely off beat to like piss off society. Feels like you're rapping like this to slight the listener. What, you thought I'd be restrained to the confines of BPMs? It's like, I hoped so. <laughs> I hoped you'd consider it. She gets on the floor, does capoeira. Wait, what is it? It's capoeira. Capoeira? The choca de cordios. <laughs> Choke a wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you could have said something like, I'll do whatever it takes to make our private life worth a public hell. This isn't a goddamn romance novel. Or. <laughs> it's not funny. It seems the more objects this guy's putting up his ass, the stronger he's getting. <laughs> That's my theory. Anyway. Is it over? No, okay. I remember one time someone called me Regina George as an insult and it was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give in to temptation, at which time she gives him, I'm running out of clever ways to say this. <laughs> uh, mental math, okay, fine, that'll do. A lot of thought and consideration. Uh <laughs> the slap was overkill. You had me down for the count with a kiss. You letting this man mess with your grown woman bag and all he has to give you is dusty dick and middle school limericks? That didn't mean to rhyme. Flirting with you like he's eight and you're just like, wow. Dating handsome Squidward, a mannequin, the husk of a human being, and you're letting him mess with your money. We need to talk about some ugly truths. And if it takes my movie to be the Trojan horse to get us into the house, Big of a head do you have to have? Belt singing at these grieving and disturbed parents. See everything you wish you had, and it's right there, right there, right there in front of you. He just left as a sea urchin by his family. Street urchin, not sea urchin, Jesus. Street. <laughs> wrong with my mind immediately when i said sea urchin i imagined him like as a small child as a sea urchin <laughs> dressed just wandering the no <laughs> oh man okay as a street urchin <laughs> fuck me Oh man. He's an alcoholic and so are you. Two alcoholics walk into a bar and then they start f***ing. James Wan, this is an Asian man's doing? F you, James Wan. <laughs> Let me stop. This is 2009 and they probably wouldn't even fund it his movie if they didn't make it terrible, essentially. So, you know what? I am sorry, James Wan. I'ma tell you, your pussy got me going insane. I'ma hit it from the front, llama like I like that. I'ma hit it from the back, stimulate my llama set. <laughs> hey. You seem to be the only person capable of 
pushing all my buttons, and I do mean all of them. Nigga, you are always mad. What are you talking about? Girl, please. <laughs> Let her try to do this shit in a public school. They would eat her up like tapas. And they eventually have some of the most benign sex I've ever seen, especially after he's going on and on about how his how his dick is the ultimate fighting champion or whatever. I'm done with the power plant. Ah! Oh, what the? F because he was blackmailing her with a sex tape, which don't make no sense to me because the world can see me bust it open before I catch a charge. Absolutely not. Y'all just gonna have to see my pussy from here to the end of time. First time we as an audience <laughs> watch as the tire thinks it to death. <laughs> Is it a Virgo? Does it? <laughs> yeah, Grace is over here like, oh my God, I've never felt more loved and appreciated than I do at my job. And that's how we know she's part of the LGB to community. <laughs> no one's gonna get that reference but me. I, I love women. I love meow. And people are really tired of the LGB to community. Back when I was a soda machine, I was full of Coke. <laughs> in the midst of that time in my life, the only thing I cared about were drugs and my dissertation. Multitasker. He basically says like, you're so beautiful. You don't have to hide behind these false things. And then he start aiming for her lashes. I wish a n would come up to me and say, you're so beautiful, take those off. He start wiping off her lipstick. Just say I look good. The f she sees her mama getting dicked down by a gargoyle. Now, Odu got scales and she doesn't know, she doesn't feel them like under her hands. She just think it's eczema, a little psoriasis, bitch. Don't worry about it. Ain't nothing some Vaseline can't fix. I should email my one professor. I know he found this channel. What's up? Yep, this is what happened with all that believing in me. <laughs> This is what I did with it. With all that bright future and expensive education, I make videos on the internet. This is a direct attack on my divinity. No further questions, no further pictures. I have spoken. What's it like to be skinny? Because <laughs> ain't no way my tall thick ass gonna sit. Gonna be sitting in there with you? Absolutely not. Have you seen my thighs? Luscious, but spatially demanding. Let's save the rest for mimosas tomorrow. Breakfast. Very sure of yourself, Casanova? Your virtue is safe with me. This n talk like a super villain. I won't let you f me. Oh my god. One doesn't f an angel. <laughs> she's like, yeah, you were eating her coochie in my kitchen. I just found this so funny and hypocritical because she's been fantasizing about having sex with this woman the entire movie. Also like making out with her and having inappropriate sexual contact with this woman this entire movie. But the thought that her husband was doing the same was enough to say, maybe we shouldn't be fucking people on payroll. Bitch, <laughs> anyway. Friends from work. They don't want to be your fucking friends, okay? What the fuck was that? It looked like his neck was acting, but his face wasn't. This is so dangerous. They've almost got him, like leave him alone. And Sina's so like, yo, that's crazy how I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> I will process this man. I will turn him into hamburger helper. And until I do, I shan't stop. So goodbye, click. Don't do that, don't do that. Again, I let a lot of shit slide more than I'm proud of, but get ahead of my bag. This bag gonna get in your head. Watch yourself. This is all but an illusion. But is the cleaning lady actually dead? Yes, she is no longer, <laughs> she is headless. <laughs> like she is no longer with us. Very much so, you know, sleepy hollow headless horseman. <laughs> uh, they're very much no longer with us deceased to pass on. Best case scenario, you're gonna outlive a lot of people, particularly your parents. The ideal situation is that your parents will die at some point and you will still be alive. I know that sounds fucked up, follow me. Would you like to look back on your life and realize that the entire life that you built for yourself is not your own? It was the aspirations, the fears, the anxieties of other people? Or would you like to look back on your life and say, this is the life that I planned and wanted and was destined for me and I failed or I succeeded or whatever, but it was my own. I feel like a lot of people are living the lives that others have said was best for them and have never considered where their life is supposed to go or what they want to do with their life. How comically different the sizes of their heads are. <laughs> That's the only thing I noticed. It looked like Pac-Man. Is he wearing teal and black zebra joggers? And orange tiger skin sneakers? I can't. This is the most ghetto shit I've ever seen in my life. Lady, don't 
dog alone! Die! He done shoved the dog up his ass. Your girl is still curious. Jason. 만족해요? 지금도? 혹시 제목이 시사한 것처럼 사기꾼? I mean, he got away with it. Nobody saw this damn movie. Like, this is the pocket. This is around the pocket. This movie is like way to fuck over there. Trying to stop her. You tried to stop who? <sighs> Me, you cunt. Killer bitch. Someone put a house beat on it. Someone take killer bitch and me you cunt. Turn it into a house beat. Give me a Vogue track called killer bitch. Dun, 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 killer bitch. Dun, 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 killer bitch. Dun, 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 dun. I'll see you after the function. I, I, I overlooked it the first time I watched the movie because he fine as f Oh my God. He can park that big man. Well, park that midsize sedan. Right in this Luke Reg. Like, ooh, ooh. This some crazy shit I would do. <laughs> No, no, it wouldn't. It would be something that I'd really consider though. It would be just this argument between my Capricorn sun and Scorpio rising and the Capricorn sun would be like, this is just like not a healthy or productive use of your energy or time. And then my Scorpio was like, but I want that, but I like want things to burn. Next thing you know, she sounds like that living vertebrae from, from SpongeBob chocolate. <laughs> Ooh, the ghetto. Oh, the ghetto. We are old now, baby. Oh, it's almost like I've never heard this song before. It has a jazzy new beat to it. He beats his ass, and I will stand by this. Violence isn't always the answer, but I'll, sometimes it is. No, I stand by it. I would never fight over a man, but I would beat a bitch up for disrespect. As a disclaimer, that's a joke. Violence is never the answer, except for when it is, but no, it's not because I'm a public figure. I have to lie to you. <laughs> Gabriel is like coming out of her skull. Drugs, it feels like I'm on drugs. ASMR, you're at the financial aid office. Everyone's poor here, hon. <laughs> it goes on about like, you know, how much, much of a rough alpha he is. You know, my dick can slay dragons. I never get offered to be in threesomes with people that look like this. I always get like life's leftovers. Maybe if this happened, maybe I'd consider it. But she reminds him of his humanity and that his mistakes don't fully define him as a human being and they don't take away his chance at redemption. Is this a Twilight fanfic? Is this another Twilight fanfic? <laughs> Swear to God! Oh my God! It's inescapable! It's on you, sis. You should've got mad when you should've got mad. Cause you wouldn't have to deal with any of this if you would've killed him. I'd be so through. I. <laughs> she about to die for like boxy, stiff hip dick, for Roblox dick, stiff edge cardboard, cock. <laughs> they wax stick the f out of that part. You can cook eggs on it. Don't wait for a man. Oh my God. Especially a married one? Absolutely not. Bad investments. Low risk stocks for your pussy. Thank you. He's so fine. And so not 18. That is like a 30 year old man. Lois. Mason. Lois. Mason. Lois. Lois. I have. <laughs> I didn't expect that. that the <laughs> My Kendall's review of the movie, it was one. Whoa, wait, stop. <laughs> like mid pump, he like picks up a call from his sister talking and it's just weird. Why are you answering the phone? And he's like, no, it's fine. You, sh you can come over. I'm like, this feels very like. Anyway. I'm off the way you see my name, Beatrice. I'm not Beatrice. This is so musty. Oh my God. Dinner theater, dinner theater. Ah! She died of an overdose and we found her three days later. And she's just like, well, <laughs> thanks for telling me. I don't wanna live forever. 
<laughs> Apparently, Kyung Chur doesn't partake in cannibalism. He thinks it's below him. It's beneath him. Something that only a monster will do. I mean, you might as well at this point. Don't be wasteful. <laughs> I want to have sex with you, but not now. But I would like to have sex with you, but not now. But I want to f*** his butt naked at the strip club and just rubbing her coochie on his black clothes. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, yes, gonna <laughs> Depending on her pH at the moment, she could stain you. She could bleach you. It's a nice suit. Anyway. <laughs> her poor pussy. I Chlorine will f*** your shit up. Just a pussy crime scene. Just the yeast infections and UTIs for some Vienna sausage flavored dick in, in like warm bacteria infested pool water. Disgusting. Up, I'm running for prom queen and I f***ed your ex. <laughs> and also we know you're poor. You think I'm gonna let people try to stop me? And, and M. Night Shyamalan hasn't made a good movie since 99 and they're still giving him a bag? Go downstairs and let mommy watch the monkeys mate. Stop! <laughs> Dad! Nosferatu over here is like, I want you in my bed tonight. Not sexually. Kendall, edit in the clip of uh, Wendell. I hit that sexually. <laughs> There's a Kamehameha. Why did I do it like it was a riff? <laughs> Jasmine Sullivan. Kamehameha. Kamehameha. I feel like I'm dying. I don't have time for that and just start slapping that mother until he wakes up. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, Danny Phantom. Um, how? <laughs> how did she get past you? Puritans are some of the creepiest mother I've ever seen. It's like, what is he talking? That's a grown ass woman. Him and Christian were in and out of foster homes in Detroit. As a Detroiter. <laughs> And, I, and perhaps I am a little overly sensitive because I am a Detroiter, particularly a black Detroiter, like an actual Detroiter. I'm not some, someone from like the suburbs that are 50 miles away. And it's like, yeah, I live in Detroit. No, like I was in Detroit. I just notice that whenever Detroit is brought up, and especially in a white man's story, it's always meant to legitimize how dark their past was and how hard life was for them because they lived in Detroit. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> As a Detroit Negress, it upsets me. And I'll just leave it at that. Which I understand if that actually happened in real life would be very traumatizing. However, it just sounded like a porno setup to me. So I just started laughing and I shouldn't have laughed. I'm sorry about your trauma, girl. Hello everyone. And welcome to the new game show called Guess What the N****s Would Do. The game show in which we realistically ask ourselves what is the most probable course of action that any black person in a suspenseful movie will do. A. Lock the doors and go back to bed. B, go investigate outside. Or C, literally anything but B. <laughs> I would love to play the mean girl in a movie, I'm just saying. And I am 26. I'm the perfect age to play like a high school sophomore. Mary has finished her manuscript for her book that she leaves on Elaine's grave. <laughs> I'm dead, what the fuck? I can't read. The last guy who kind of gave a performance like a hot plank. Please play over. <laughs> And over and over again as it spirals into madness. <laughs> she ends up losing her biggest sponsorship from this Kardashian. Which one is this? <laughs> they all bought the same face. Which one is this? Courtney. Yes. Yes. She basically goes up to him, get all up in his face, and he's like, I don't think this is a good idea. And she just says, Well, that's simply irrelevant. Which. Consent is a two-way street, my guy. It's not only for women to give. What? Oh my, wait, is that what I think it is? What? No way! <laughs> Cartwheel. <laughs> You got me, movie. That was funny. If I were, say, a chicken, I would really hate for someone to use my dead carcass for nasty food. Or worse, forget me in the refrigerator and just throw me away because I've gone bad. Right? <laughs> Never mind. This isn't me condoning cannibalism, by the way. Nor murder. King Daddy, who is 007, <laughs> 
He's so fine. Oh my god. 007 daddy. Yes, King Daddy. King Daddy's like, she's just sitting there seething, going, Nick. <laughs> Dinkelber. <laughs> Let me do my voiceover voice. In 1963, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Cock so strong. Alfred Hitchcock made. <laughs> did it again. I, did <laughs> I swear to God, if he dropped the apples, if he dramatically drops the apples, I'm gonna. Oh my f God. <laughs> do you hear my stomach doing a beatbox? Coffee gave me bubble goods. Oh my gosh, stop. All they do is just make him look like such a dick. He'll just go up to people unwarranted, unprovoked. Don't put a shirt on, dude. And just be an asshole. Dirt bags. And then people respond. You posers call this music? Nigga, get out the frame. Smell like boo-boo and pool water. And then at some point he refers to as, quote, a bundle of kick-ass hotness. And you're one bundle of kick-ass hotness. I just saved your life, sweetness. Why? They show like the after credit, like sneak peek. Piccolo, the pickle person is still alive. And I guess that woman from Japan earlier didn't die. She was like his caretaker or something. I don't know. Who cares? They never made a second one, I don't think so. And if they did, don't tell me. I don't want to watch it. Marco back because he fine. He fine as hell. He fine as fuck. And here comes Karen and she knocks over their trash can and runs away like a raccoon. Why she run like this? Little tidbit I actually found very interesting. And I was like, is that real? And apparently it is. There, there was a point at which the army was called out to get all these birds out of Kentucky. I learned something new today. I really want to spend this time and get to know you. Not too much time. I got shit to do, but. Nah, eat some cake and forget about how abusive this interaction is. Hi, hello. I'm an asshole. There's a police officer that turns to him. He's like, hey, who broke your ball? While descending the horse, she ends up falling in a pile of horse shit. She then commences to pick up said horse shit with her bare hands, with her hands and throws it at him. And two people somehow left that stable a lot. That vibe, you know, like a car salesman, like he's trying to get me into a new Nissan Ultima. Katie, stop fraternizing with more pants sex preluded by stiff hand just the stiffest robotic stiff hand spank i've ever seen why don't you just stick a knife in my heart and get it over with and i'm just like please do I'm like damn me too gang gang get me out of this misery like and he just kind of goes well i don't know what that has to do with me and just lobs her arm off it's not funny whole time oh if this was me in this classroom i would put my pencil down honey i have nothing to write about i have nothing to look at i have nothing to pay attention to let the games begin let's see how, how i'm finessing that in editing editing kendall not great <laughs> if you like this video like it or whatever i'm so broken <laughs> I am. oh my god God! Yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> I highly recommend.